was I thinking? Oh, my aching head. Hey, Duke. How are you doing? Ooh, that's quite a black eye you've got there. What happened? Oh, hey, Rob. Dude, it's a long, long, long story. Well, I'm not going anywhere, so go ahead and tell me. Well, okay. Since you insist, you know how in the Bible there's a part about the fruits of the Spirit? Sure, that's in Galatians chapter 5. There are nine of them, the fruits of the Spirit. Yeah, well, I think my fruit is rotten. Poo! At least so far I'm not doing too good at growing fruit if you catch my drift. What are you trying to say, Duke? Start from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Genesis 1, 1. No, no, no. Start from the beginning of how you got the black eye. Oh, that. Well, there I was, reading the Bible about the fruits of the Spirit. It listed them all out. There was love, joy, peace, patience and all. Rest. So I figured I would try to show a different one to my friends each week. Well, that sounds like a great idea, Duke. How could that give you a black eye? Well, the first fruit of the Spirit was like love. So I went to church and I said to myself, Duke, you need to show some love to the first person you see today. So I did. <laughs> the first person I saw at church was Gender Bruiser Robinson. The only girl allowed to play on the boys' football team? Because, because she's dirtier than all the boys put together. Yeah, that's the one. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it took all my courage, but I, I says, here goes nothing, and I puck it up and... Mwah! Kissed her on the cheek. Kissed her? What for? Isn't that what love is? Kissing, hugging, being mushy. Well, not really. What happened after you kissed her? Isn't it obvious, Sherlock? She decked me. She punched me. She knocked me over. She hit you? Yeah, buddy. That's the last time I try and show love to someone. Duke, Duke, Duke. What, what, what? Duke, 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 Duke. What, 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 what? Duke, Duke, Duke. What? Sorry, it's just that I think you might have misunderstood what the Bible was saying about love. Love is a fruit of the Spirit that sometimes people get confused about what love really is. On TV, it seems like love is always some man and woman kissing. But love the way God means, it is really different. Oh uh, yeah? How is it different? Well, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13 that love is patient, kind, not proud or rude, that it always forgives and never gives up. It says that love never brags or puts others down. It says that the greatest love is shown when someone puts their life on the line for their friend. Whoa! I didn't hear anything about kissing or hugging gender, bruiser, Robinson, any of that stuff in, in, the, in the Bible you said. No! Nope. Love is a lot of things and God has lots to say about it in his book, The Bible. But the most important verse about love is John 3.16. Do you know that one, Duke? Yes, I do. But I want to know if any of the kids know it. Do any of you know John 3.16? Hmm. Well, it goes, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him will have everlasting life. God so loved... I get it. It's not about being mushy. It's about doing things for others and expecting nothing in return. Yes, you've got it, Duke. Cool. Well, i got to go. 
Where are you going? To apologise to Jen and see if she needs help with her maths homework. She's a good at football but has a hard time with math. Dude, I really rock at math. That's the spirit, Duke. Eee, nope, that's the fruit of the spirit. <laughs> bye! bye. bye.